Hello everybody and welcome back to the poor man's chemist. In this video I am going to be trying to make gold one cyanide from chlorouric acid. What you see there is chlorouric acid solution that I prepared from all of my recycled gold. It's a still image because my camera kind of fucked up and cut off the first part of the first time I filmed this. It's okay, you only miss the first few drops of ammonia going into the solution, but it, it I caught it right where, I mean, I mean, it turns, it immediately turns opaque and yellow, and where I caught it, you can see it from where it's opaque and yellow. You, you didn't miss anything. So, we're salvaging this bitch. <laughs> Especially after the iridium experiment crashed and burned so terribly, and I, I, I'm just not 100% sure what I ended up with. It's not behaving like I would expect it to. It's not doing the shit it should be doing, so it's not video worthy. So I figured that gold one cyanide would be a, a good um, second choice. Um, the thing about this is that it's all very conventional. We're going to prepare potassium dicyanoorate 1 in the normal way. I've done this once before, but it's been a long time. So we're going to, we have to do the whole process over again in order to make gold 1 cyanide. Now the tricky part, once we've got the potassium dicyanoorate, we have to do the rest of it in the dark, or at least in the absence of sunlight. I am... Um, I mean, the most obvious choice of doing that is doing it at night. It has to be somewhere out in the open because we got to add HCl to this and then warm it up on a steam bath and it will give off hydrogen cyanide gas. So that's always fun. So it has to be done out in the open. There has to be ventilation, but there can't be any sunlight. So the only solution I can come up with is do it at night when there's no sun. Um... You know, I mean, a flashlight hopefully won't put out, you know, I mean, I, I don't think, I mean, surely, it just said sunlight, it didn't say light altogether. I mean, you have to be able to see fucking something, right? Anyway, so, like I said, the first thing that we're going to do is add aqueous ammonia to this chlorouric acid, and the very beginning of that is cut off, but that's okay, so let's just pick it up where I realized that this camera was having camera aids again. Shit. What in the hell happened and why did it stop? Okay. And there we go. Fulminating gold isn't soluble in water. So... So long as it stays wet, it is very safe. Um, it is only when it becomes dry that it's a problem. When it's dry, it is an extremely sensitive explosive. So, um, yeah, if you do decide to make this stuff and you decide to dry it out, once it's dry, I would... I don't know. It, 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 all the literature says it's extremely sensitive to, like, um, shock... And I think friction, but all the times that I've tested it and like the videos where I've seen people do it, it kind of varies in its sensitivity. So be aware of that too. Anyway, what we need to do now is to wash this thoroughly, which means we need to turn off the stirring and let everything settle here and then decant off the liquid. Um, and do that a couple of times so that we can remove all of the chloride ion because we're going to want to get it all out of there. As you can see, it is very heavy. It settles out pretty quickly. So, um, and I would, the liquid, don't throw that away. I guarantee you there is some gold dissolved in it and who knows how much. But yeah, don't, don't throw that shit out. All right. I will come back once I've decanted this and filled it back up a few times and washed this thoroughly to remove all the chloride and we're ready to go on with the next step. 
All right, people, this is our fulminating gold. I have rinsed it and decanted it many times. You can see the volume of liquid that has come out of there. That was empty when I started. So if there's still chloride ion in there, man, it's hiding it well. <laughs> um, the gold recycling that I have over here, um, rather than risk having explosive fulminating gold in there, even though it should be pretty much harmless, um, I just reacidified the solution with nitric and hydrochloric acid, and that seems to have dissolved it all. It'll be very easy to reprecipitate the gold out with metabisulfite. So, anywho, what we are going to do now is add a slight excess. Well, the textbook says, um, potassium cyanide. I've made the normal cyanide that I've been using in the normal way. So it's sodium potassium cyanide, whatever. Um, I honestly, I, I mean, we so we'll end up with some sodium disyanoate instead. Big deal, who cares? I don't think it'll make any difference. So here we go. Aqueous cyanide should make this shit dissolve. It's making it turn colors. Seriously? Okay. Could you please behave? I, I really need something to not fuck up here. That's better. Why are you all kind of yellow still? That's much better. That is nice and looks like very deadly water. <laughs> very expensive deadly water. Um, so now, what we need to do... Well, actually, we have a couple of choices. We could evaporate this down over a steam bath, which sounds like a pain in the ass, or we could precipitate it out by the addition of alcohol. Um, the textbook says you can do it by the addition of alcohol, though not by the addition of acetone, even though this stuff is like completely insoluble in acetone, also ether. So I don't know why you can't just add acetone to it. But whatever, we have some absolute alcohol. I guess we could try evaporating it down a little bit and then adding some to it. Just evaporate it down over low heat and then add some alcohol to it to precipitate it out. I'll just keep the temperature below 100 degrees C so it can evaporate away gently. In fact, I'll move it. I might move it to the shitty hot plate just to make sure. Anyway. I will come back when there's some kind of change to show you guys. Okay, just in case it fucks up or decomposes, I wanted to get it on camera. That is gold one cyanide. There we go. We have done it. That's so awesome.
it's giving off a lot of hydrogen cyanide right now. I will come back once this is done. I just wanted to make sure I got it on camera in case it fucked up. Ah, oh, that's so cool! Okay, this is the rinse water from the Aura Cyanide. And as you can see, I managed to get a good bit of the final product in there in the rinse. I guess I could try to recover that, but it's so hard to separate the liquid from this stuff. Like, the particles are heavy in the sense that they settle out quickly, but they're light in the sense that it is very, very hard to drain the water off of them. Not at all like it was with the um, potassium disyanoate, where it was very easy to drain the water off of that. But I took the you know advantage of this, and I took this sample here, and I put it out in the sun. It's been sitting out in direct full sunlight now for a little while. I mean, at least 15 minutes or so. Probably longer than that. I don't see any visible decomposition at all. It looks like it looks a little green on the screen here. But in real life, it looks exactly like the other stuff. Maybe this process takes longer does it have to be in contact with air, maybe, and also wet? Is that possibly what's going on here? I don't know. I mean, it, it seems to be holding up pretty well to me. <laughs> maybe it uh, maybe it takes oxygen and just takes longer for it to happen. Who knows? I'll leave it out here for a while, and we'll see what it does. All right, well, based on that experiment with the rinse, I'm going to go ahead and bring this out here just long enough to film it to wrap this video up. Um, I mean, of course, I will post a pic of the dried material. It's probably going to have to sit in the desiccator for a couple of days because there's still a fair bit of liquid down in there that I just could not get off, even with like a glass pipe head, without sucking up a lot of the product with it. Um... I would imagine that if you had enough of this where, to where filtration would be an option, that it would be a screaming bitch to filter. But um, it's pretty darn insoluble in water, so there's that. But anyway, the um, test sample that I've set out in the sun hasn't changed at all. I will post updates on that in the community tab. Of course, I'll post update, you know, a picture of this stuff once it's finally dry on there. Once it's dry, according to the textbook, it's okay to bring it out into the light. Although, I'm, I'm really struggling to see how this stuff is breaking down out here. But whatever, we'll go with the textbook and, you know, we'll try to get the best product possible. So, anyway, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, you just don't appreciate the beauty of cyanides. Subscribe, comment, share the video, donate a few bucks if you can. And until the next one, y'all, which hopefully will be coming sooner, I, I promise, guys, I am making an effort to get back to at least, like, I I'd like to get it back to two a week. Um, can't make any promises, but anyway, until the next one, y'all, I will see you later. That was really fucking cool. Can't believe it fucking worked. That's so fucking awesome. That is better than sex, man.